What is up guys, coming at you here with another video on the Supra. It's been a while since I've driven or even seen the car. I've been away for work for about five weeks. So today we're going to finally take it for a drive. Um, obviously we're in lockdown here in Sydney so we can't really go anywhere or do anything. But we can of course drive our car. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, take her for a little spin. She is looking nice and clean just the way I left her. No one took her out without my permission. But... She's looking so good guys, have a look at, have a look at that ass. God damn. Woo! We're back, we're out here. Taking the super for a drive, very exciting. Especially during this lockdown time. Where are we going here? We're gonna go do some grocery shopping. Yeah, <laughs> as we're allowed to. So we're gonna go do some grocery shopping because that's pretty much the only reasoning as for being allowed to be out of the house. Where is it? There you go. Only reason we're allowed to be out of the house. Which is so weird, so disturbing. Never been in this type of situation before. Having this beast in the garage and not being able to drive it. So upsetting, so depressing, but we out here. <laughs> we'll catch you in a bit, guys. So good to be driving the Supra for five weeks. that feeling just that feeling that you're just hopping into that I don't know dream car or some sort like every, you're hopping into a 90s time warp every single time every single time you jump in it you get that feeling even if you drive it every single day it's clear no no oh, we just got caught driving the Supra <laughs> everyone notices the Supra on the street it's one of a kind what? one of a kind Supra can't believe that. <laughs> Lockdown, no one on the road, and of course we get caught. <laughs> Alright, so we've just parked up the Supra in the garage, and now we've, we've caught Niggle here in the garage working again. What's going on, Niggles? What's happening? What are we doing to the IS300 today? I'm going to service it, and I'm going to pull Sean the front tension rods. He's got more goodies today. Alright, so this is from S uh, ZSS Racing. And these are front tension rods. Upgraded ones with a spherical bearing on the end. He's going to be replacing his ones. He's got the standard tension rods in the car at the moment with a super pro bushing in there. But, um... Rubbish. But they were rubbish and he wasn't happy with them, so we're going to be upgrading to these ones. Pretty straightforward, comes with all the bolts supplied. And it's just as simple as unbolting the, uh, the old ones, unbolting them from there and sliding these ones in. So now we're going to start off while, with servicing the car. We're going to put oil, oil filter and just a maintenance check over today. And then we'll replace those rods too. just taken the wheel off and looking under here upgraded sway bars under body bracing coil overs roll center adjusters the only thing that and this is what we're changing today so we're changing out this whole piece here 
It's a shame it's not blue. It's gonna look so mismatched. Ah, <laughs> but the only other thing that he yeah. hasn't done yet is the lower control arm. I'm gonna do the original, the original one. So is this a tracker or just a stand screen? <laughs> it's fake naked, bro. Alright, so we'll start unbolting this while Nico's doing the oil change in his car. You gotta drop the, you gotta drop the the brace. So loosen from here and all around the brace. Don't take it out. Just drop it, and then pry it with a screwdriver down and then force that thing out it will come out yes boss not me yes boss i'm burning this oil filter hot what's wrong with the oil filter <laughs> i'm dreading this oil filter i'm gonna make a mess all over your face yeah. hey, hey. hey guys welcome back to my chat uh, all you guys where do you guys do the oil filter from the top or the bottom Cook me a goddamn gun on it. Move, move your hand. Move your feet. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's happening? Grab it from the top. Oh. It's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> it's a very public area. You have to have a mask on. No, I am, mate! Hey, please put your mask on. Ah, get fucked. This is a New South Wales banks down a local government area. Alright? No mask, no play, no school today. We're gonna get it. Go on, tell the video. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to put an oil filter on. Let's see. Make sure you put Loctite, um, super glue, with everything in here. Fill it up with powder. And transmission fluid. And transmission fluid. And silicon on the seal. And silicon on the seal. Yes. And get a um, Get one of your Milwaukee high torque guns, the thing over it. Dug a dug a dug a dug a dug, and that's it. You know what I mean? About 15 like a dug is all the door. Okay, guys, so here's the new arm here, and that's the old one we're going to be replacing. I don't think yet. Let's see that. And obviously there's right and left, this one is the right one Which here in Australia is right hand drive, so the driver's side one Basically we're going to have to be unbolting the bracing So here, there, there And then the same on the other side We drop that all down together And then we take the other bar out And we put the new one in Slide it in And then bolt that back up Nico's just put some oil in the engine after the oil change he's put, trying out 1540 this time see how it goes last uh, last oil change we put 550 550 yeah 10 yeah what's good keyboard heroes <laughs> all you keyboard heroes I want to give a big shout out to you and we have such a good boy here all right, I'm gonna protecting start these okay. beautiful red masterpieces Leaky boy? No. Alright, uh, here we've got the old ones out and next to the new ones. They were supposedly pressed in. But, I don't know. Something must have gone wrong there. Alright, uh, now that everything's off, coffee break. Oh, 
I made this coffee in my backyard so I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> what? what? Does that mean? So here's the old arms once again. Here's the new arms. What we've got here, yeah. this thing turns whichever way it wants. What we're gonna have to do what we're going to do now is put that on the car exactly the way it goes. With the close measurements, which is basically all the way closed, so it's not open like this because that comes out further. So basically all the way closed and then once it's on the car, we'll tighten that up so it doesn't move anymore. So let's get stuck straight into that. Nikos! Mm. Oh. Here we've got the arms bolted in, everything's all on. Um, that's bolted in to the sh um, body brace right there. And the body brace is all bolted back on too, both sides. There and there. And here on this side of the arm, we use the two bolts here, which were supplied in the box together with the arms. And then once everything was all on, we just tighten these guys up here too just to make sure they don't move so they're all nice and tight and that was done on both sides alright guys so everything's bolted on uh, all we've got left is to put the cover underneath and the two fires on and let's see if we'll take it for a uh, test drive um, so we bought these from um, Just Trap Australia yeah Bought a couple of other stuff from them as well. Nice business with them. They're really easy to deal with. And yeah, whatever you need for JDM stuff, go to Jet Strap, they'll help you out. They can import you anything you want from Japan and we'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Most of you have been wondering what kind of brakes are on the IS300. Nikos put the <laughs> Lexus IS350 upgrade kit on there too. Be sure to check that video out too. I'll leave a link in, in the video up the top up there in case you're all wondering. It's all done. We've got the boys here just admiring. Waiting for it to warm a bit before we take it up for a drive. And if you haven't seen the last video of the IS300, how we make it sound tough, the damn sure sounds good. Let's go to the back and show you guys. She a lumpy boy. Man, that sounds good. Be sure to check out that video. So you see how we made it sound like that? It's a bit dark. Uh, Nico's just showing off his luxury pack. I'm just admiring him. He wants to show. Whoa! Damn. So I don't think this will ever be needed to use because you know it's Toyota mate. But for all the BMWs that have it, I think they'll actually use it. Well, man. In case you have a breakdown. Look, Toyota thought of everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. So now that all the front suspension's done, only thing left is the lower control arms. Niggle's thinking what he should do to the back. <laughs> everything. <laughs> everything. Doesn't stop with him, huh? Nah. He pushes all the arms to the back, all the pushes I can. Sounds good. And now we'll start packing up everything else. 
get the van out of the driveway so we can take the car for a drive and test out our new mods. So here's our first drive with the new suspension arms. We can, yeah, we can feel a bit of roughness in the road. Obviously, there's no um, there's no poly bushings, so it's just straight metal on metal contact. Um, obviously, it's going to do us wonders for handling. Let's just see how the street drivability is. It was really planted, really nice. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, it feels really good. How does that feel compared to the other ones? Great. Yeah, that's real good. I always say the best money, uh, value for money upgrades are suspension ones, especially if you're going to the track. So yeah, we're really happy with that guys. Nice Gary, we got the Lexus fam here, and we got the buddy, and we got the boys. How's she go fam? <laughs> Loves it. Alright Nixa, how does she feel? She feels good. There's you could do a body roll. I think I've got a stick in the dampening of the suspension knock. That's alright, it feels good, but you can definitely tell it's a spherical bushing, but it's drivable. Good. That's what happens when you modify your car, guys. You want stiffer suspension. Oh, where is it? You want stiffer suspension? You want your car to handle? It's gonna feel a bit like that. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be sure to catch you in the next one. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Thanks guys.